there are many factors that lead from an Ayurvedic perspective to a, a large prostate. Uh, in the Western science, it's actually not really well understood. So the herbs, particularly in prostate protection, target these particular areas. Good digestion, removal of inflammation, keeping the genital urinary tract system clear. One of the problems with having an enlarged prostate is basically you just don't pee as well as you used to. And that means that urine tends to congregate more in the bladder and that gives you more susceptibility to inflammation and infections, which goes to exacerbate the process. It also has herbs that target the prostate itself in terms of keeping it shrinking and keeping its size normal, keeping the testosterone balance helpful and uh, in balance. So it also is a masterpiece of technology. There are many things you can do, routine and diet, that will help this problem. As I said, one of the main problems with prostate enlargement is our routine. Make sure that if you sit a long time, for instance, if you're at a computer or in your meetings all day, that you get up regularly and walk around. It's very important that you release the pressure on this apanavara, as we say, in that particular region. The other one is always don't suppress natural urges. If you have the desire to go to the bathroom, then you need to go. Always attempt to avoid all the urine out of your bladder, as I said, because if urine tends to stay there, if you're in a hurry and you don't pay attention, you can get bladder infections. Eat a diet that's rich in fruit, nuts and seeds, whole grains. These type of foods tend to nourish the prostate. Foods that are high in zinc, like almonds, pumpkin seeds, whole grains. Zinc has a very important part to play in prostate health. In prostate protection, we have what's called a zinc basma. I mentioned basma means ashes. So we take a natural form of zinc and we turn it into a very easily assimilated form that targets the prostate. It's interesting that in the prostate, uh, one of the highest concentrations of zinc is found in the human physiology. Zinc is a very, very important mineral for prostate health, for immunity, and even um, protection uh, of um, transcription of DNA. By the age of 70 or 80, 90% of men will have an enlarged prostate. 40 to 50% of those will need medical attention. It's a real frightening factor. Now, one of the reasons for that is, you know, we can talk a lot about the herbs in terms of their performance and how they affect the physiology, but Ayurveda is a holistic approach to health, particularly Maharishi Ayurveda. So we also have to look at the diet and the lifestyle of the person as well. We don't just give someone a herb. In Ayurveda, Many diseases of this lower pelvic area begin with what's called inability to deal with natural urges. In other words, in our lifestyle, we tend to sit for long periods, which puts strain on our prostate. We tend to go to meetings and we put off going to the bathroom, for instance. Uh, we sit in our cars for long periods in traffic which is also not good if you really need to go to the bathroom. It puts pressure on that whole area, what we call a pana vata, which is downward moving vata. It's a subdosha of vata, which governs all downward moving and includes all the organs of the male reproductive system, elimination system. And that is one of the main causes. Other main causes are poor diet, poor routine, create a substance called ama. Ama is a bit like Imagine if you never changed the oil in your car, it would get really sludgy. And then the engine would certainly throw its hands up one day and say it's not going to work anymore. So that's a bit like armor. If you don't have a good diet, good routine, and you don't pay attention to your digestion, eat at the right time every day, then this armor builds up in weak spots in the body, we might say. <laughs>